where he achieved his secondary education. For those who know Carl Calvin Chambers, can say he's a jovial and fun-loving person who loves and cares for everyone who he comes across.
dwelleth in the sacred of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. At this time, I'll turn this portion of the service over to the Chief Consecrator, the Right Reverend Apostle Ray Foster. Bless the Lord Jesus. The Lord. Come on, everybody. Bless the Lord Jesus. The Lord. Bless the Lord Jesus. The Lord. Is it the day that the Lord hath made? Let us be joyed and be glad in it. Blessed be our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to call for the candidate to be seated before. Let us pray the prayer invocation for your hands everywhere. God, in the name of Jesus, we invite your presence. We know you are able to do exceedingly abundantly more than we can ever ask or think of. Nevertheless, we do ask. God, we bid us to ask that it shall be given. We must seek you and we shall find. Now, and you shall open unto us. So, Lord, we humble come before you for your presence. We pray in the name of Jesus that you may fill this place with yourself. Knowing that we of ourselves, we are a complete failure. But with you, we are more than conquerors. So, Lord God, we call upon you right now of your might to it. Help us, Lord God, that our heart, mind, and body may be in one accord, so that your, your this day may be like unto Pentecost. Bless, keep, Lord, the one that caused us to be here. I pray in the name of Jesus that your spirit will endorse him. Keep him up and up, up and up and up. Watch over him, God. I pray that he may prepare his heart and his spirit for this occasion. In Jesus' name. Amen. Just as I am, we are one And do all your work. 
But the seventh day is the Sabbath unto the Lord your God. In, in it you shall not do any work. You are your son or your daughter, your manservant or your maidservant or cattle or the sojourner who is within your gate. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and honor it. Lord, have mercy on us and desire our hearts to keep this law. I'm pressing on the
and mighty God, Jesus Christ. To you our hearts are open, all desire know, and from you no secret or hid. Cleanse the thought of our heart by your inspiration. Hallelujah. Marks in the congregation to sit while our bishop chambers will remain standing. So we do the presentation. The most reverend Dr. Ray Costa, Metropolitan Frank Mead, in the Church of God, the leadership of the people of the Breakthrough Apostolic Church of Christ and affiliates, trusting in the guidance of the Holy Spirit, present unto you this holy man, Cousin Chambers, who has been elected to be consecrated and installed as apostle in the church of God and senior leadership. We therefore ask you to install, enthrone, and lay your hands upon him and in the power of the Holy Spirit to enthrone him as apostle in the one holy, universal, an apostolic church. Take heed that this man of God, who you present to be up and lead for the learning and the godly conversation to exercise him, his ministry thoroughly to honor God and edify the church. Can we have a testimony of Bishop James. Considered a visionary and one of the most influential church leader, leaders in Jamaica today, Reverend Carl Calvin Chambers is the founder of the Bridge to Apostolic Church of Christ. He is, he is widely known for his genius, note blowing, bands laboring, and preaching. Bishop Chambers has been very vocal in his view that the church should be a witness and a positive influence on the national issues. He has remained undeterred in his call for God for good governance, governance, accountability among leaders of the church. Bishop Chambers has served as a friend, a pastor, an advisor to many of the Jamaicans famous and infamous both in the private sector and the government. Bishop C. Chambers, unafraid of taking risk as it relate, relates to the kingdom of God. The love of others and his, and his nation, even if it hurts him, the disapproval in his peers, in the clergy. Bishop Chambers 
role as a pastor and spiritual leader are also well documented as the founder of the Breakthrough Apostolic Church of Christ, a Christian nonprofit organization that exists to serve the social, physical, mental, and spiritual needs of Jamaicans. His passion is to see the people of Jamaica maximize their potential to become all that God has designed for them. As a part of the mandate of his ministry, Bishop Chambers has been instrumental in helping the people to uplift themselves in many ways. Bishop Carl Calvin Chambers is also well known and respected locally and internationally as a leader, counselor, a motivational speaker, hosting and presenting at many churches, churches he is called to be a part of. His journey in revival started as a tender age of seven on May 27, 1998. Bless the name of Jesus. Carl Calvin Chambers, born at the North Home Hospital in Lucy Hanover from Dias, born of mother Doris Ahood and father Balvin Chambers, and is the last of seven growing children. He always aspired to become a teacher. Bishop Chambers, a well-known family man, who is courageous and hardworking, is now a father of eight children, four boys and four girls. A husband who is well articulated, he attended the Dunvalley Basic School, then Cocoon, Castle Primary and Infant, Infant School, and transitioned to the Gradual Comprehensive School, where he achieved his secondary education. For those who know Carl Calvin Chambers, can say he's a jovial and fun-loving person who loves and cares for everyone who he comes across. An old saying goes, a life with gold is a life that is whole. Bishop Chambers is always positive and show everyone that his life is whole. His life from a child growing up was not an easy path. He, however, stood his ground with goals and objectives that wanted that he wanted to achieve. He may not have achieved all his heart desire, but I can tell you he's a proud man today. Bishop C.C. Chambers, pastor, father, chief, and known by many as the world greatest, the king of Dias, Kezan. Thank you very much. of an apostle say it now or forever all your pains I want to give it a time to amen Brethren and sisters in the Lord. You have heard the testimony given that Carl Chambers had been thoroughly, lawfully elected to hold the rank of apostle of the great Jew Apostolic Church of Christ in the Church of God and serve in its respective office. You have assumed of this suitable and that the church have approved him for the secret um, the sacred responsibility. It is your will that we should ins install called chambers as an apostle. Let me say it again. It is your will to install called chambers as an apostle. That is our will, prayer, and desire. Will you all, will 
you uphold him in this primates, he will do so and understand. Let us pray. Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, creator of heaven and earth, have mercy upon us. Savior, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, creator of heaven and earth, have mercy upon us. Savior, our Lord Jesus Christ, redeemer of the world, have mercy upon us. Savior, our Lord Jesus Christ, redeemer of the world, have mercy upon us. Savior of our Lord Jesus Christ, sanctifier of the faithful, have mercy upon us. Savior of our Lord Jesus Christ, sanctifier of the faithful, have mercy upon us. I think you can't upload that. <laughs> Savior of our Lord Jesus Christ, only one God, and beside you there is no other, have mercy upon us. Savior of our Lord Jesus Christ, the only one God, beside you there is no other, have mercy upon us. Savior of our Lord Jesus Christ, spare us. Lord Jesus, spare your people who are redeemed with thy precious blood. Who you are redeemed with your precious blood. Amen. From all evil and witchcraft, from sin, from, witch, from wickedness and assault of the devil, from wrath and from eternal condemnation. Amen. From all blindness of the heart, from pride, vain glory, and hypocrisy, envy, hatred, malice, and all sins. From all uncleanness in talk, words, or deed. From all dishonesty of the world and the flesh. O oh Lord God, that take away the sin of this world, Grant us thy peace, O Lamb of God, that take away the sin of the world. Have mercy upon us. O Christ, hear us. Have mercy upon us. Breathe on me, bread. choose and seek for send forth 
812 apostle. It is written also in the, uh, in the book of Acts of the apostle that the disciples who were at Antioch did fast and pray before they lay hands on Paul and Barnabas and send them forth. Let us therefore follow the example of our Savior Jesus Christ and his apostle. The veil, veil us prior before we admit and send forth this person presenting to us to work where we are upon we must the Holy Ghost have been called. Amen? Amen. Let us pray again. Everybody we can pray again. Every one of us pray in our heart. Almighty God, give up good things. Who by your Holy Spirit have applied and devised order of ministry in the church. Merciful be merciful behold this thy servant. Now call to the work of the ministry of an, an apostle. We spend him so that we we the truth of thy doctrine and adore him with innocency of his life, both by words and deed. He may faithfully serve thee in this office to the glory of his name and the edifying of the well governor covering, covering of the church through the mercy of the Savior Jesus Christ who live and reign with thee and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're going to give it back to the chair person. Amen, everybody. At this time, we'll be having the Old Testament lesson. This comes to us from Isaiah chapter 6 to 1, reading from verse 1 to the 4. Let us have this reading.
Come on, sir. We're playing with you. And then we should go right. And then first Peter 5 and from verse 1 to 4. The elders which are among you, I exhort, who am also an elder and a witness of the suffering of Christ, and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of God which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for a field to us, but of the ready mind. Verse 3. Neither as, it, neither as being lords over God's heritage, but be examples to the flock. Verse 4, and I stop verse 4. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, he shall receive a crown of glory that faded not away. Here it goes, holy and the Lord, and I say, thanks be to God. May I invite the congregation to stand while we join in in the singing of a verse or two of this hymn, I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining, every day still praying as I onward bound. Lord, not my feet and high above. I'm pressing on
Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, O Lord and Savior Christ. We'll have the third reading. St. John 17, 1 to 9 and 18 to 22. The reader come forward. Bless the mighty name of Jesus. Reading from St. John 17, 1 to 9, bless the name of Jesus. These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come, glorify thy son, that thy son also may glorify thee. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, and he, that ye should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. The seventh. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. Um, uh, for I have given unto them the words which thou hast given me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. I move to the 9, the 18 to the 22nd. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. And for their sake I sanctify that myself that they also might be sanctified through the word, through the, through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. That they all may be one as thou, Father, art in me and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me the twenty second and dust and the glory which thou gavest me i have given them that they may be one even as we are one we praise the lord we praise the lord back to the moderator in jesus name At this time, brothers and sisters, it is the chief consecrator and apostle. I dare not to be selfish, but to share with each and every one of us and to allow us to be partaker of this service. Now we do know what this service entails, and so we are going into some greetings. But if he would allow everybody to bring greetings to him, we would not get food with this. So we're going to be asking those that are in authority, representative from the various churches, you know yourself. At this time we open the floor for those that are in authority to come at this time and to bring greetings and after which of us will continue the service.
then I am not so much familiar with every church that I hear. But for sure, I'm going to be calling the representative from Revival Mission to come forward at this time and to bring greetings. All right. Representative, coming. And those that are coming, we have one preacher tonight. So we ask for greetings, not a servant. Come on. Come on, worship the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on, praise the Lord. Praise God. I'm so happy to be in the house of God one more time. Just, just lift your hand and worship God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. officers, members, praise God, praise God, the Bishop Chambers, the reason why we are here tonight, just accept the night of greetings, come and worship the Lord, praise God, it's so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise, just to know, does say the Lord, praise God, tonight I am so elated to be in a service like this, knowing that it is not everybody, praise God, that we come across, whether it be bishop or pastor, that accepts the call Praise God of an apostle. And so tonight I am so happy, praise God, to, sh to share in this occasion. And I pray that God will just give, praise God, Bishop Chambers, the strength that he needs to continue in this role. God bless you. God keep you. In Jesus' name. Praise 